This is a time for testimony, so let's give up for Brian. Come on now. It takes some courage to be here and Brian wants to share some things that God has been doing in his life. And there's a lot of things that uh, he's going to share actually a few testimonies, not just one. So God's been doing a lot of great things in his life. So we're going to take a step at a time and we're going to ask him, uh, first of all, uh, I already said Brian, but say your name and where you're from. Uh, Brian Pasco, Washington. Well, nice, nice. So, um, uh, Brian, uh, can you share with us just in a few words how you came to our church? We know that you're recent. How long ago you came and how it came about that you came to our church and, and, and kind of got plugged in? Well, it's been about maybe a good five months from now. Uh, I discovered you guys' church through YouTube, uh, watching Vladimir's uh, videos on YouTube. So, um, yeah. That's nice. So it's about five months ago that you've been coming now. And as you've seen, Brian has been here every Sunday, every Wednesday. And uh, he's, been, he's been faithful coming. And so you find out through YouTube. And so you remember what sermon you were watching? Um, it was about the uh, killing your own lions or something like that. <laughs> nice, nice. So yeah, YouTube. Uh, as you guys know, we have a YouTube channel and we have a website. We have a lot of incredible resources. Uh, if you have people outside of the town or family members, if you got blessed with something, don't be afraid to share it. Post it on your Facebook, on your Twitter. Uh, call your friend, your family member. Hey, check it out. You never know. God, God can do amazing, great things. And as you hear, Brian, he, that's how he came about, uh, you know, the church and how God uh, changed his life. So, kind of share a little bit. What, uh, what were you experiencing? Uh, uh, before you came to church and how did how coming to church helped you overcome certain problems that issue in your life uh, one I guess the main concern that I had or the main issue that I really had is um, really bad anxiety like really bad anxiety uh, that's what really brought me uh, closer or back into into church um, you know and actually that's what it kind of prompted me to start seeking God initially and that's when I found uh, Vlad and Hungry Generation Church Online. Um, so can you tell us a little bit more about this issue of anxiety? How, uh, how does this issue ex affected you, affected your family, your work? How did it affect your mind, your sleep, all these, all, all these things? So we want to just know the extent of the problem. It was really overwhelming. Uh, uh, it was almost paralyzing, like mentally and physically. Uh, I remember... Uh, not being able to sleep for a numerous amount of nights, you know, and that kind of spun out of control and made it even worse. Um, I wasn't really able to really be there for my family. You, you know, I was really emotional. Uh, like I said, I was, really wasn't able to sleep. It, it was almost like a bad dream. Like when you have a, a really bad dream, you wake up and you have that feeling over you, you have heaviness over you, you that's kind of paralyzing. It was like that, but like times three. So it was like that, you know, periodically as I was going to fall asleep, it would hit me. You know, it was like just like a wave of ice. Like it was just bad. Uh, throughout the day, I couldn't, I couldn't really work. I'd, I'd be in my own cubicle there, you know, holding tears in, you know, crying by myself. It was, it was really weird. What, what about your, your health? I know you mentioned that it was, it was started affecting and taking a toll on your health. Yeah, it got really to the point where I couldn't breathe. Uh, I ended up going to the hospital like numerous times, three or four times. Um, that caused a lot of havoc financially, you know. Uh, I was under a lot of stress. And so um, how did you, uh, what, what, what happened then? How, how did God come through for you? Uh, really, it came through mentorship between uh, Vlad and yourself, Elia. Um, you know, the, if it wasn't for you two, I probably wouldn't, I don't know where I would be right now, you know, if, if it wasn't for your guys' mentorship and your genuine love, you know, for, for me, I, I don't know where I would be, you know, God, God, God came through tremendously, you know, where medicine couldn't reach me, His, His grace reached me. Amen. Come on, church, let's put our hands together. On <laughs> um, many occasions... In many occasions, we would meet up uh, with, uh, with Brian, and he'd stop by my house. His, his work is really close to my house. We'd stop by, and after work, we would pray and just trust God. Is it true? That's, that's right. That's right. We would uh, actually meet every, almost every other day after work, uh, say a quick prayer, you know, encouraging words that you'd share with me really, really hit home for me. You know, it really uh, made me build a stable relationship with God and really opened my eyes spiritually. So thank you for that.
Okay, so wonderful. And now, how do you how do you feel now? We know how 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 severe the problem is. What, what what's now? How how's the anxiety? How that fear? Do you experience it? How do you sleep? No more fear. I, I'm able to sleep fine now. You know, I'm not I'm not taking any medication. Um, it's all for glory of God. Wonderful. Come on, church. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. And God, God can do the impossible and sometimes God uses foolish and, and, and uh, foolish things like this like pain and suffering uh, to draw us closer to him not necessarily that God creates them or, or, or sends it to our life but like the Bible says he takes the bad and he turns into good and so he can use sometimes these things to encourage us and to show us look I am the way I am your source I am everything that you need if you come to me I will help you I will bring you through I will show you my grace and like Brian said where pills couldn't reach him God's grace was able to reach and help him amen let's put our hands together for Jesus now Brian's just loaded with testimonies today so now uh, it's actually sort of ties into this testimony because of his medical issues with fear and anxiety he's had to go to the doctors all the time to the hospitals all the time and he racked up some you know of course you have to pay for everything he racked up some debt or some money that he owed and so I want him to share a testimony of what God did in this area. So due to my number, uh, numerous visits to the doctor and different doctors, uh, numerous doctors, uh, I racked up about $3,500 worth of bills um, and where I remember at one time Myra gave me all the bills and told me hey you need to pay these today. I, was, I wasn't paying attention to them. I was actually ignoring them to be quite honest. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, uh, she gave me them um, and she's like, she said, you know, you need to pay them today. So I, you know, I went on a quick break and I was uh, calling them individually because it's not just from one doctor. There's actually like three different doctors for the one visit that you take, you know. So um, I was getting frustrated, you know, I had filled out an application for financial assistance. I think that's what they call it through Cadillac. And um, I was frustrated in the fact that I couldn't email it to them directly. They're like, oh, you got to bring it here physically. You know, there's really no way around it. So I was really, I got upset, actually almost to the point where I was like almost angry. <laughs> at, um, and I remember uh, in that private booth that they have there at Giza, I was almost talking to myself and saying, God, you better show up. You know, if I need you right now. I can't, I can't pay these bills. I, you know, barely have enough to cover what I, what I, what I owe. You know, I, I can't do this. And I was actually kind of angry at God in a way. Um, and I remember um, moments after I actually was um, telling my coworker there that I was about to take a break and maybe go in and, and turn this application in when he actually had told me that his um, relative worked for Cadillac and was able to maybe uh, help process my application and to my surprise about $1,300 right now were written off and I'm actually in the process of working on getting the other half to complete the 3500 Okay, come on church, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Sometimes even in our weakest moments, in the most frustrating moments, God comes through in very unique ways. Through, through a co-worker, through a friend, through, and sometimes it's through a very random thing. In his case, through a worker. And God, you know, helped cover the first, uh, first half of the bill got canceled. And they said if the first half is gonna, got canceled, most likely the second uh, half will get canceled, right? That's right. Yeah. And so now, you know, God just took care of his anxiety, took care of even his bills that he wrecked up during that time. So let's put our hands together for Jesus. So Brian, I want, I want, you, I want you to share one last thing. Uh, you you kind of already mentioned it, but uh, about home groups. Uh, church, we have uh, those of you that may be new, we have things called home groups. This is where we get together uh, on a smaller scale, maybe three, four, five of us, six of us, girls with girls, guy with guys. Now also we have a Vladimir and Lana that are leading a, a married uh, married home groups where married couples come together. But we have these home groups where we get together and we kind of just connect on a personal level. We discuss the Word of God. We learn things in person. And if we have any questions, we address that. And so uh, this, is, this is the home groups that we have. We encourage you, every single one of you, to plug in. And I just want to, Brian, uh, Brian, if you could just share just briefly for uh, 30 seconds of what home group did for you and your spiritual walk and in general just just in your life how did it benefit you uh, well it really woke me up uh, spiritually you know before you know actually I had grown up in a church and had walked away for you know numerous reasons but besides that uh, it kind of uh, woke me up in a way where before I was in a kind of in a routine 
mundane relationship with God, you know. And um, in where I, coming to home group, I was able to uh, come back to the fundamentals, you know, and, and uh, be in an environment that I feel comfortable in. Um, you definitely feel the love amongst us guys. I don't know about you girls, but <laughs> us guys, we feel this bond, you know, this, 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 this true love, you know, that you feel that I've never felt, you know, before in a different environment, you know, that definitely does open up your eyes, you know, and, and, and make it that much better. Even when you're in service, you're able to connect different pieces and, and put them together. So that, that's definitely a big help to me. How did your relationship with God um, improve since, since you started coming? It makes it that much more real. You know, God is real, you know. Um, it makes it that much personal. Um, and then where you're able to apply certain things that you learn in home group uh, to your own life. That's right. Come on, let's put our head together for Brian for sharing this testament. He can go ahead and take a seat.